You guys coming at you with another video today on this Monday. Happy Monday. It is miserable out here. It has been raining all day long, but uh, we had a good one. We had a good one. We had a good time. Uh, today, I just want to talk about why people struggle so much of overcoming head pressure, anxiety, uh, and just, just depression and all that stuff in general. And I think you know, I'm not going to talk about the trauma side. I know the trauma side has a large effect on a lot of people. Trauma side, uh, PTSD and stuff, you know, that could have a huge effect on depression, family issues, stuff like that. Um, now, I want to focus more so on the lifestyle choices of the average American and I watched, I, I discussed TikTok yesterday. I highly recommend you go look at it and uh, can really consider, you know, your social media habits. Um, but the lifestyle of the American person is, it's just not very productive to a certain extent. You know, I see other countries like Abu Dhabi, uh, AUE, and like their culture is just a lot different same thing with the Chinese culture. Those are just more, I say, structured societies. Now, do I agree with their government, especially the Chinese government? Not necessarily. No, I don't. In fact, I think that they, they have some very sinister thing about human rights and it's not great. I think obviously America exceeds them in that. However, our lifestyle does not. You know, we glorify mental illness on social media. We glorify body positivity. We glorify sensitivity and um, complaining. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, is, is we, are, we are very inept when it comes to, we can't take jokes, you know? We can't, can't have comedy anymore because it offends somebody. Um, you know, we glorify all things that are unhealthy. We are constantly on social media on our phones being pretty much nihilist narcissists um, and the younger the person is the more often they're doing those kind of things there's a direct correlation in spikes and I've talked about this in a ton of videos in depression and anxiety with the release of the iPhone social media is extremely damning to the human psyche and, and, and you get addicted and I fall in culprit to that and I still fall culprit to that. I am so bad at my phone usage. I'm on my phone way too much, way too much. And I'm really trying to focus on, on getting better with it and getting off my phone and being more productive because you spend a lot of time on your phone and you get comfortable and you feel like that, that all those dopamine hits and then you kind of feel sad kind of out of it, then you're not motivated to do anything productive. Then you go to bed, go sleep it off. Then you restart your day. And, you know, you watch TV or you binge watch Netflix and you eat processed food, but you don't have enough time to cook good food. So what do you do? You eat out. You have processed food for that. You don't go to the gym anymore. Um, you know, you haven't really gotten the true education as far as how to be healthy um, with, with food, you know, to be healthy is extremely difficult. Uh, especially when the American diet is not, is not promotive of being truly healthy. Um, less carbs, less sugar. I mean, in fact, it's recommended on the bottom of food train, uh, train food pyramid that you have six to 11 servings of grain. So grain is absolutely awful for you. It makes you sluggish. Uh, it gives you brain fog, gives you mood swings. It's tr converted into glucose. It's no bueno. <laughs> and then, you know, we're not exercising at all. We're not really promoting that. We're promoting body positivity and being healthy in any size. That is absolutely garbage. That's poison. That's terrible. Healthy living and healthy lifestyle um, helps a ton with anxiety and depression. It helps a ton with self-confidence. And the social media on top of it has made us extremely insecure. So we mask it with filters and angles and all that kind of stuff. Instead of going out and doing the right thing, which is fixing yourself, fixing your body and becoming the person that you want to be. I am very unsatisfied with my body. I am very insecure with it. And I've grown in confidence because I want to fix it. I want to change that. I want to be bigger, stronger, faster, 
and optimize my body so I feel good about myself, my physique, and my accomplishments. We are prone to the society of our participation trophies and everyone gets a trophy. Screw that, that is absolute BS. If you're second, you're the first loser. And I, and I, I people are like, oh my God, that's how it should be. I hate losing. I hate losing so much. And that's the mentality that people have to have. It's the same thing with anxiety. I hate feeling pain. I will do anything to stop feeling that pain. And I'll do it in a healthy manner because I know there's there's an asterisk there. Anything to do the pain. Am I going to mask it with drugs, alcohol, stuff like that? And this brings me to another point. No, I'm going to do healthy things. I'm going to fix my lifestyle. I'm going to work out more. I'm going to going to spend more time in meditation. I'm going to lose my phone as much. I'm going to take longer showers. I'm going to sleep more. We're not prioritizing the right things. Going into it, we party a ton. Alcohol, drugs. It's just day in, day out. Party in and out. One day and out. And, and you could be happy with that kind of stuff. You can go back wild when you're younger and stuff. But believe me, that stuff catches up to you. Alcohol is so bad for the mental psyche so bad for the mental psyche. And I believe me, vaping is going to turn out to be the same as studies. I don't want to talk too much about marijuana because I oh, I shouldn't have said that. Dang it. Uh, just because of the U2 algorithm. But, um, you know, there are those, that's that's a different story. I know there's, there's medical benefits of it, but, you know, unfortunately, the YouTube algorithm hates it. Dang it. I hate doing that. Um, but there's so many lifestyle things things that we do in America that is such a letdown, such a setback, and you have to grab it by the balls or whatever you grab it by. And you have to be proficient in in changing your lifestyle, really putting a fork in it and being like, okay, this is clearly not working out. It's time to fix it up. It's time to change. It's time to do something different because this ain't working. And once you make that decision, once we start prioritizing sleep, we prioritize exercise, we prioritize a productive lifestyle, we hang out with people that we love and trust and love to be around that promote um, positivity. We do self-love, massages, chiropractic. We focus on journaling and, and, and motivation and getting into hobbies and things that we enjoy. Um, we read more. Um, we, we are more grateful for what we have uh, we spend more time outside. We take proper supplements. We eat cleaner. All these kind of things. Setting your life in motion. There's all those little things that can compound and make you feel better. Because you only have one life. One life. And you got to make the most of it. And living a shitty, painful, depressed life sucks. It's no fun. <laughs> so it's time to get down to business and stop doing that kind of shit and fix your life. Do it today. Like, comment, subscribe. You people are awesome. Peace.